Well, good morning, you guys. Today is day before Disney, so I thought it would take you long, vlog the day, all those last minute little things that you just, you kind of have to wait until the day before to do. Um, right now, though, we're on a package hunt. So, you know how you like panic buy things um, last minute for your trip? Like, do I need this? I don't know, but it looks really cool and I think I need it. Whether I actually need it still remains to be seen. Um, but that package was supposed to be delivered today. Decided it was gonna come a day early. So it came and was out for delivery and delivered yesterday. Well, that package is nowhere to be found. Um, Dean checked with all of the neighbors down our street. Like what you're supposed to do. He looked around like the whole inside and outside of our house. Um, we checked the mailbox. We have a package locker. Like we just like all these different things. We checked it all and these packages are nowhere to be found. So I'm going to the post office. They opened like seven minutes ago. I'm trying to be there pretty early, um, but hopefully we can track them down. Um, so yeah, let's, let's go see if we can find these packages because I would really like to have them. Okay, well, the saga continues. <laughs> They do not have the package. It was delivered. They like geo-tracked the tracking number and all that stuff. Um, and it was delivered potentially to our next door neighbor. They didn't check with our neighbors, but they didn't, they said they didn't get it. I don't know. Like the, our neighbor is just, it's a single man <laughs> that lives there. And I don't think he needs women's clothing <laughs> or um, like travel things for women's products. Like I don't, don't think that would quite apply to him. Um, so we'll see. Maybe they're there and we just didn't know. So the hunt continues <laughs> and I've got, but the girls have been making breakfast with Dean. We do a family like breakfast every Sunday, but since we're leaving on a Sunday, we're doing it Saturday. We do Mickey waffles and scrambled eggs and bacon and we just do like a little like um, fun family breakfast and that's like our Sunday morning routine as we do that we watch church and whatever so um, we're doing our family breakfast today so that we can like spend time together and that's just like our our for sure quality time like we do dinner and all this other stuff during the week like most normal families do like you just you do dinner together and all that stuff um, but it's just we we look forward to this one. So I'm gonna go home and eat breakfast with my family because I'm supposed to be doing that, but I needed to get here before the carrier left. So it's a bit all over the place, but let's go back and eat some Mickey waffles and then we're gonna get to work on the rest of this stuff. Okay, so we're back in the car. I had to run out and film a shop with me video for Spoonful, um, which is my other channel. It's called Spoonful of Cleaning. So I do shopping, homemaking, mom life. So if you're like, what do you do when you're at home? That's that's the channel to go check out for that. I post way more home stuff over there um, because you know niche and whatever. Um, so that's that that all goes on that channel. But I did have to show you this really quickly. I got this and I'm gonna give it to Luce or Bella for Christmas. It is a Minnie Mouse suitcase. So cute. It's a full suitcase. We love the full brand and I have like all the rest of our suitcases are full um, and they're fun because they usually do the Disney prints but I got her that one and it didn't have a tag on it and I was looking it up before I checked out because I'm like I want to make sure that whenever they're like hey it's gonna be this much um, that it's actually a good price because sometimes you like get up there and they're like that's gonna be $120 and I'm like that suitcase should not be $120 here in the store. Um, but couldn't find any more like it in the store. I had looked, so the lady manager went over and looked and she's like, okay, I just grabbed the cheapest one. And so I got that $150 suitcase for $59. So I was really excited about that. Bella's gonna be so excited. It's pink and it's Minnie Mouse. And so she's gonna love it. And so for future trips and packing, like if we all wanted to do carry on only um, and not have to deal with that, then we could each have our own little suitcase. Um, to pack in so that's really cute and really fun. I'm excited. I think she's gonna enjoy it Because um, I know like for me like granted at two years old She's nowhere near this but I know when I started like being able to like pack in my own suitcase and do all that stuff I thought it was so fun and the coolest thing in the world, but all that being said we're here at the bank I've got to run in and get a few more um, Like cash bills for tips and things. Um, I thought I had enough But I redid the math and I was like wait a minute I'm gonna need it for this and that so don't forget you will need to tip money for any car Like if you use a car service and you don't pre-tip um, 
I always just tip in cash and so you'll need tips for your driver to and from the airport you're gonna need tips for um, like housekeeping we always do tips for housekeeping it's always just nice and usually like the the people really appreciate it so there's that housekeeping when someone delivers like a pack and play to your room you're gonna need a tip for that I feel like ideally um, that's that's something you should do <laughs> and then uh, let's see tips for bell services and then like wait staff and anybody else that helps and stuff like that so I just want to make sure I have plenty plus dollars for the penny machines because my girls have loved doing pennies so I need to go in and get that You wanna say hi? Hi! <laughs> say hi, internet family! Hi, family! <laughs> say, how's it going? Really? Yep, those are bluey band-aids. They're going in mommy's meds bag. That's what I'm gonna pack up. This is our medicine bag, our meds bag. This is our just-in-case non-negotiable bag. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna work on my meds bag. So I'm kind of restructuring it just a tinge um, Going through here and sorting it out. I have these new little medicine cases that I'm really excited about and I'm gonna use like I have this little Label maker. I'm gonna like really deep dive organize But before I get into sharing medicine and vitamins and all that stuff I'm gonna go ahead and just put in the disclaimer. You do not see me wearing a white coat I do not have letters after my name. My name is not Ashley Bright and then followed by letters. I've not been to school for any of this stuff, so please do your own research. Talk to your own medical professional. Um, don't trust me. Like, do check, do your own Googling and see what WebMD says for you. Um, but I am gonna show you, because I do get questions about this, what I keep in my meds bag, what kind of medicines, vitamins, things like that that I take. So let's jump into that. So first I have two different types of medicines. Now these are obviously just in case. My family is not sick and obviously I don't plan on, like most of you don't plan on getting sick on vacation. But it's one of those things that unfortunately can happen and for me, taking some sort of medicine is just kind of a non-negotiable. This goes in there. It's a, one of those just in case items that's a non-negotiable for me. So I keep this little medicine pack in my purse because yes, they do have medications inside of the baby care centers or at first aid, things like that, that you can go and get. But sometimes you're sitting at a quick service and your head is throbbing and you need something or your kids are teething and you don't wanna have to go all the way across the park to get something. You're sitting right there with them and you can go ahead and handle it. So. This goes in my suitcase. This little pack goes inside of my little mommy bag that I keep on me all of the time, but it's really tiny. You can see in here. So I have a couple of turmeric capsules. <laughs> Sorry, the kids are playing. Turmeric capsules. And then over here, I have some pain reliever for myself. And then these are actually chewable little um, medicines for the girls. So they are acetaminophen. Um, so basically Tylenol for the girls and they can just chew them up. So they don't have to have any water. They don't have to have anything. They can just chew them up kind of like a, um, like you would a Tums or, but I love that it's not liquid and so it's something that I can keep with me. I forget the age range on it. I know it's good for my girls. It may not be good for kids under two. So if you have a baby or someone under two, you'll definitely still wanna keep your liquid medicine with you. But if you have a toddler that is over two years old, you can grab those and use them. And that way it keep, takes up a little less space. It's a little less messy for dosing. So just one thing I wanted to share that. So in my meds bag, I'm going to keep their liquid medicine just because I wanna have some extra of that in there in case we need a liquid version um, with kids you just never know so I'm gonna have that I am going to be taking my little nasal aspirator I keep that in my meds bag all the time as well as a thermometer so keep that in the meds bag my travel neosporin to go this is a spray one which is awesome I'm gonna do that I have this chest rub it's just a stick so it takes up very very little space and it's small it's focus on that there we go chest rub there you go so that's going in there as well and then in my medicine cases I will probably put like the band-aids stuff like that in here um, but I am going to have one for vitamins um, so that we can keep up with our vitamin routine and stay healthy which I'll show that in just a minute and then I have this little small medicine case that I'm going to be putting all of our medicines in labeling those so I have a motion sick medicine here three years old or older can take this so this is for kids adults anybody and I love this Genexa brand so if you like clean medicines this stuff is awesome and they it actually works like 
some clean medicines, they just don't work. And so it's like, okay, yeah, I'm not taking dyes and I'm not have, putting all this extra crap in my body, but it's not doing anything for me either. Like I'm still in pain, my kid's still sick or whatever. Um, so thankfully these work. And then I have our cold crush. So they have the kids version and the adult version. Um, and then with the adult version, someone as young as three years old can take it. Um, and then someone as young as four years old can take two tablets of this one. Um, our pediatrician said, now again, this is what our said for my kids. This is not the gospel. So please talk to your own doctor or whatever. Um, but she said that with the kids cold crush, if a child at four years old can take two tablets, my two year old can take one tablet. So she's like, that's fine. It's a homeopathic thing. So she's not going to overdose on anything. So she gave me permission to do that. Um, so we're going to have that kind of medicine. I'm going to have some Tums in there, picked up some new ones. These are the chewy ones are the best. You guys, if you like need a Tums ever, I like lived on those while I was pregnant. The chewy Tums, I can attest to those being the best. Have some Halls cough drops that I'm going to pop in there for medication. I do have a little small bug spray, which that may or may not be a medicine, but I keep it in there. Um, Bella, poor girl bugs love her and she gets the worst little bites um so there's that and then i do have a few of the kids dramamine left over so i will toss those in there to be able to use those up um but with the motion sickness medicine um i was able to our pediatrician said she could take that too she could just take those um because it is homeopathic and she's close to that age group but again talk to your own doctor. I keep reiterating that, but I am not wearing a white coat. Again, my, I don't have letters after my name. So, um, and then we've got the kids around me. So I'm going to put all this together. Oh, and last but not least, I do have, this is basically Sudafed. Um, it's the like kind you can get at the CVS pharmacy in or in, um, Target. So it's like the Target version. Um, but it is the only thing that works for us. So whatever medicine works for you, take a few doses of that the way you have it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, put that in here, use our label maker, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Now for the like vitamins and things, the kids take these, but the girls take, so I'm going to put those in there. We take vitamin C, we take turmeric, um, I'm not even going to, yeah, baby. I'm not even going to, um, try to pronounce that, but we take that. Uh, D3, vitamin D3, and then zinc as well. And zinc, there we go, <laughs> focus now. Um, so I'm gonna put some of those into this larger container, that way we can keep up with our vitamin routine, keep ourselves healthy, knock on wood. And yeah, don't wanna come home sick, so that's, that's the goal. Oh Lord, please don't let us come home sick. I don't want to do that. <laughs> or get sick on this trip. I mean, it is three weeks, so you don't want to be sick at Disney. No. All right, and because this is gonna take me a minute to finish this up, I'm gonna just pause the video here, make the little vitamin thing, and then I'll show you so it doesn't like drag on and on and on and on. Vitamin cases are ready. And then one other thing I forgot to show is I am taking a nasal saline solution. So this is just my first aid meds kit. This is what it's looking like. So these are our vitamins. And now I have them all labeled in there. I know all of these we take one a day with the exception of the girls. Lucy takes two a day because of her age. Um, so that's how that looks in there. Got it all labeled. So that closes up and can fit down in my little baggie. And then for our medications, I have all of that in here. Plus I put the dosing instructions for each one of the medications. So don't forget to do that. Put the age and dosing instructions um, because obviously you won't have your bottle if you're kind of decanting them into a little container like this instead of carrying around a bunch of bottles. Um, so to be able to know how to dose them and not be like, wait a minute, what did I do? Always 
try to include that. So um, that's got that. My med bag is now ready to go in my um, tote bag into the suitcase, uh, wherever I decide to throw this one. And then we're gonna move on. I still have to pack up my diaper bag, the girls' bags, um, their little activity backpacks, snacks, all that good stuff. So let's keep going because I have a few things to do today. packing up my little like purse mommy bag that I keep with me. I keep this on me at the airport, through the parks, wherever. So it is just set and ready to go for the whole time. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack that up. I'll show you each item as I put it in here and then I'll show you it fully packed. I jump into packing up our diaper bag which is what I'm gonna do next I do want to go ahead and get the girls tablets charging that way they can be fully charged and tonight when I like to sit down and kind of relax a little bit I can go ahead and have those make sure all of their shows are downloaded any apps um, just kind of do a little reset and cleanup of them because if they ever get a hold of them here at home or their access to Wi-Fi they end up downloading extra apps and doing all this other stuff so I just want to make a clean sweep of it and make sure that it's still stuff that I approve of um, it's it's all within age range, but sometimes they download stuff that I personally am not <laughs> interested in getting started. Um, Baby Shark is one of those. We all have our, our like kryptonite. Baby Shark is mine. And so, so far, I'm four years in you guys and we have not gotten addicted to that. <laughs> Fingers crossed we can keep it going. I just can't do that song. And so, yeah, that's, that's my kryptonite. I'm curious, what is your like one thing as a parent you're like, they cannot watch this show because it just drives you batty. Okay, next up I'm going to be packing up my princess diaper bag for our airport travel day. So I'm gonna have all of our envelopes in here for our bell services, our housekeeping, all of our little tipping envelopes that we do. And then I've got my, because I do obviously film videos I'm gonna have my tripod that I can use for my camera and then also I have this attachment that comes with it that I can put my phone on for doing like timer pictures filming anything with my phone whatever if I need to do a reel or something then I can do that so I'm gonna take that and have it in the diaper bag um, I have their pressed penny books from our previous trips so they have started loving these and you can actually get these little books in the parks to collect them 
with. So we've got a couple of different ones from the different resorts and things we've stayed at. So that's pretty fun and a neat way for them to like have a little collection. And then for the stroller, I have these stroller hooks. I don't know if these are in stock anymore, but if they are, I will link them because they are so cute. But they clip onto the D-rings on the back of the diaper bag there. So I can put, hang that off of the stroller. So I'm gonna do that. Um, I'll probably just go ahead and attach those to the diaper bag. And then when I'm ready to take it off and like get on the plane, then I can just unvelcro it because if you don't, you can see how these are a little dirty. So they're a bit dirty. I don't know if you can see that, but a lot of times they will peel and um, scratch and just kind of come apart. I have a black set that looks really gnarly up here at this top portion. And so to keep these from getting just kind of scratched and ruined, that's what I plan to do. I've got our potty seat. So this is just a little collapsible potty seat with some Clorox wipes in it for if we need it when we're at the airport, I can pull that out and um, use that at the bathroom with her. A wet bag with a change of clothes. I need to grab another wet bag. I usually do one for each. That way, if I need to like have one outfit when I pull one outfit out, I can put one in and I'm not having to have loose clothes in the diaper bag. So I'll do that. And then our portable sound machine. Love this. It charges and also has a nightlight on the back, which is pretty cool. And then of course, diapers. I have two in my um, mommy bag and then I'm going to put three in here and that should last us until we get to the um, hotel. And then I'll have some where I've ordered them there. Got myself a liquid IV, which we'll definitely be taking. And then crayons for some of their little activities. I'm gonna do this mama pouch and fill it with like snacks and things like that. So we'll get started and then a couple of extra lippy products. I'm loving this NYX Filler Instinct. Like I have three or four of these now in different colors and I love it so much. Um, okay, so that's that. I'm gonna start packing up the diaper bag and then I'll show you if I pack anything else. And then for what I'm using as my snack pouch, I have these strawberry snack bars, the shelf stable strawberry yogurt, and then these little yogi bites in the little individual packaging. I thought that was cool. Um, saves having to like put them out into little bags or them eating one of the giant ones. <laughs> yes, they are for nine plus months, but um, my girls still absolutely love them. So yep, we still buy baby food. <laughs> And then last thing for snacks is I'm gonna use these little minis chips and fill up their little containers. And yeah, you best believe I will be mom taxing these. going on a flight is like going on a road trip and you have to have like some of your favorite road trip like snacks it's not where you like eat the healthiest on the planet um like my motto is we can argue and work on veggies and all that stuff at home whatever goes on vacation so that is something that like that's just how i stand on it but i'm curious what is your favorite like road trip flight travel day snack that you're like this just in my mind, it goes hand in hand with travel days. I'm gonna use this bag as my carry-on, so I'm gonna start packing that. I'm gonna take their um, collapsible snack cups in there, their swim, our swim bag with our swimsuits, swim diapers, and all that stuff's gonna go in there. Um, the medication bag that we packed up earlier, swim shoes, their blankets. So if we need them on the plane or something, then we have those, their cover-ups. And then this case for my phone that makes it waterproof is going in there as well. This thing is awesome. And literally, even though like 
the screen like will still work in it which is awesome not all of them that i've had have been able to like fully function your phone which is really cool and then this side it's actually clear enough that the footage is clear i've had some cases like we used one at the beach and it was so cloudy <laughs> It was awful. Um, it was just absolutely terrible. So this was a really good investment and I was excited to find this. So taking that with me and then after we get that started, we'll work on the girls' bags. And then another thing I'm tossing in my carry-on bag is my little jewelry pouch here. You can tell I'm more of a necklace gal than like earrings. Like I don't even have any earrings that I'm taking. I very rarely wear those. Got one ring, a bracelet. I actually have one more bracelet that I bought today at TJ Maxx. It's like a Christmas Disney bracelet um, that I need to throw in there. And then got those earrings. So I do have one set of earrings. I take that back. And then some bracelets that I am going to be wearing, but it just folds up really thin. I thought this was really cute and pretty. Kind of looks like a little folio packet. And let's see, it's hard to do this one-handed, but it just snaps closed. It's really thin, doesn't take up a lot of space. It just kind of keeps an organized spot for your jewelry too. Okay, so having to make a game time decision to take a third suitcase. If you watched my prep and pack with me for this trip, I only were, I was, my plan was to just do two 29 inch um, checked bags. But I have some other products that have come in that I need to film content for while traveling. So they're in the top of the suitcase so that I can be able to do that. So I'm just adding in a third one. I thought about doing a carry on, but I'm like, I just really don't want to deal with that my diaper bag and having a little tote bag for extra random things is going to be just fine um and then the girls little backpacks for them so i'm taking out a few things so my meds bag that was in my carry-on or in my little carry-on tote bag i'm just gonna move it in here i think we're gonna be just fine i have like motion sickness medicine and i have pain reliever for me and the girls in my carry-on bag mommy bag so we're good my stroller caddy i can live until we get to the hotel without my stroller caddy and then the little net the little books for the girls and my jewelry case um i don't have any expensive jewelry so you know um it's not like they're prized possession heirlooms or anything that are going in here and then i have plenty of room so like once we get groceries i can even toss those groceries into this suitcase which will be nice and be able to do that so three suitcases it is and the one thing though that'll be nice is i'll have help from dean checking them um here in nashville and then once i get there i'll have private transportation so i'll have a gentleman who will be my driver they're also going to help with baggage so they come and help you get that off the carousel and all that kind of stuff so that will be really helpful All right, suitcases are in. Now we just need to load the stroller and the car is loaded up and ready to go to the airport in the morning. Okay, so it is 5.30 in the afternoon or I guess the evening. Is it evening yet? I don't know. We're just, whatever, it's 5.30. Um, not in the morning and so finished getting all of the suitcases into the car so that feels good that it's like all out there and ready to go the only thing i will need to pack in the morning is um this little hair tool and i'll show like putting that in tonight i've been enjoying using it um but i'll show that tonight and then my makeup um that's done i would still like to do my nails i don't know that i can i don't know how time i'm hoping i can like sit down relax throw on a christmas movie do my nails that is the goal for like relaxing. I'm not very good at relaxing, you guys. That's why I like to go to Disney. There's so much to do. Um, doing different things that aren't home things are my relaxation or vacation. So that's what it is for me. Um, this kitchen is still a mess and will likely be that way because I'm not gonna stress myself and stay up super late trying to leave the house immaculate. Um, 
so that's that's that. I'll just film a cleaning video when I get home. Um, so there, there it is. I would love for this place to be just super clean and not have like all kinds of dishes and stuff, but you know, the dishes wouldn't even be done if it wasn't for Dean. So thank God for a husband who jumps in and helps. <laughs> we tag team a lot. Yeah. So he's the best. I don't know what I would do with that without him in my life. Probably be sad. Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I would spiral into depression. <laughs> um, but yeah, like we, we just have so much cleaning to do around here. And it's everything's been a process and we've been working like on so many different things and editing a million different videos and doing house projects. Like we've been painting the house and decorating and like it's just been a little bananas. So it's not been conducive for me to just keep the house immaculate all the time. So we live here. So there you go. It is messy. I need to clean the floor. We've got trash here. Like... I don't know, part of me is like, I don't want to show this because I want people to like think I have it together. And it's like, no, I need to be the influencer I want to see because I get so tired. Sorry, I'm going to get on a rant, apparently. I get so tired of seeing these influencers where everything in their home looks like it does, like it, it's just clean all the time. And I'm like, I don't know how you do that and do anything else or have a job or I be like do influencer work. I don't understand that. Like that, that always blows my mind. Um, and also is like, well, this place is a disaster because they have three dishes in the sink. And I'm like, that's not a disaster. Okay. You want to see a disaster? Come to my house. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this. Ooh. I'm on a tangent. I want to jump in. I was in Japan. I found these little gummies here at a gas station. It's a hundred year right here. And it says, 4D gummies, they're 3D. Look at this, let's see, hold on. Uh, Let me see if it'll uh, focus. Will it, will it? Come on, focus on my gummies. There it is. It's a cute little Mickey, but it says 4D because it's 3D and delicious. It's cute. <laughs> so, little Japanese uh, Mickey gummies. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, all that to say, if you're leaving your house and you're going on vacation, as much as I'm like, be so nice to just leave it clean and not a mess if you're not doing that don't worry you are not the only one um so let me be that realistic influencer for you that's like hey my house looks like it's got trashed and you know what i wish i was the person that was just so like negatively affected by like clutter and dirt that i just couldn't rest until i cleaned it that is not me <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I have to prioritize and my mental health is also more important than having an immaculate house and I also have to sleep. So there's that. Um, so yeah, I don't, I, apparently I'm testy and moody tonight. So we're just, <laughs> we're being raw and real. But if you want to really see how nasty my house is, you can definitely go over to Spoonful of Cleaning and I will show in a lot of those videos, very nasty transformations. So if you enjoy that kind of thing, you can check that out. This channel is my more put together pixie dusted mom like I don't know it's weird I I feel like I can let my hair down more over there I don't know that I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody else but it's one of those like it's just we're messy over there so if you're, if you're messy low-key pitch for watching my other channel but dinner is ready we are having the famous night before dinner I don't want to cook I don't have a lot of groceries so I got grab this like freezer meal we've not had this in forever and i'm like you know what that sounds like a great dinner we're just i don't want to eat out because eating out is so expensive <laughs> so we're just gonna do a freezer like dinner it's in the skillet over here so we're gonna eat that and then try to get some more stuff done i don't know where this is going all right it is 6 40 and we have to be up at four o'clock in the morning. So I need to like start winding this thing down. Um, I've got my nail set up here. I've got my basket. Um, and I'm, apparently I put up on Instagram, like what color should I do my nails? Because I'm very indecisive right now. I'm like, and you guys picked white with sparkles. So white sparkles it is. Um, but I think with that being said, I'm gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna wind the evening down and get ready to throw on a Hallmark Christmas movie and just kind of 
wind down a little bit and then go to bed um because four o'clock is going to come quickly and i want to be like on my a game because it is a solo mom travel day so I'm, i've got to be firing on as many cylinders as possible so wish me luck but i hope you guys have enjoyed coming along on this day before vacation vlog if you did don't forget to click the thumbs up button down below if you're new and you've made it this far you're into the video club click the red subscribe button let's turn it from red to gray and be virtual travel besties and yeah i would love to see you guys around in another video but thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye okay well me again two things i forgot i was going to show you my new hair thingy um you've probably seen this all over instagram and tiktok but i think it's really cool and i finally like jumped on board with like trying it um after seeing a few tutorials that i'm like okay that actually makes sense i think i can like re replicate that basically so it is the kitsch hair thing so i'm just gonna split it down the middle um putting in this texturizing spray trust me it's like Super cheap, nothing expensive here. Um, I'm just gonna put some of that in there because my hair is completely dry. I washed it this morning and just let it air dry. Oh, and I also remembered before I did this that I said I was going to show um, the girl's backs. So <laughs> I may insert this footage or I may insert that footage at the end, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow morning because I have to charge their headphones and stuff still. Um, so I have a few other things like charging and we'll put that together last, last minute in the morning. Um, but either that or I'll put it in, I don't know. I don't know if I'll put it in this video. Stay tuned, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It may go in the travel day vlog. We'll see. Okay, but that means that I'm going in with this hairspray. It's something I already had. I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's Aussie. It's kind of misting a little bit just to give it some grab. My hair is like three spaghetti noodles. So I'm just kind of like trying to get it off as much as I absolutely can. I'm a bit jelly of you ladies that have like actually some hair. So I'm going as like pretty close to the front and then I'm taking this little clip and going in and holding it in place here with that so I can wrap it. And the key that everybody in the tutorial says is to do smaller strands like you would when you're curling your hair with a curling iron. Wrap it around and keep it as tight and as close to your head as possible. And so they'll take like a strand around the front and then a strand from the back section and wrap it so that it's been working because they're like oh it's it, it's easy to want to pull the the rod away from your hair and blah 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 or away from your head i'm trying it it's definitely hard to do that so we're just going in here i'm just gonna look in the viewfinder so i can actually make sure i'm showing you what i'm doing so I'll take a section from the front of my hair and then a section from towards the back of my hair. And now I just have this one section to come from the back. And so I'm just going to wrap it around there a few different times and I'm also going to like make it all crooked so it like covers more hair. And I've seen some people they'll do it with like a bump thing behind their head to like give more volume in the crown. Um, I don't know, maybe one day I'll get brave enough to try that. But for now this is like what I'm doing. I'm all for anything that can speed me along in the morning. I'm not having to deal with heating up a curling iron and standing there and curling my hair and doing all that stuff. So I love doing that. I love having curls, but I kind of don't like taking the time to do it. So we're just taking the time to do this and it's probably way better for my hair. Okay. 
And then the last girl that I saw did this. So we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna take these high bees. in the back. So there you go. <laughs> that's, that's how it is. Okay, well, I am on that note going to go to bed because four o'clock is coming soon <laughs> and it is 8.51. So I'm gonna go to bed. Thank you again for watching. We won't go through all that again, but I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.